Okay. And um, we're learning how in an aquifer there is not just all water, but there's sand and gravel on top, and the water moves all through the little cracks and stuff. And, and um, this is an example right here of surface water. So if this were to be an ocean. Here's little fishies swimming around. And then down here, all the water under the surface water is called groundwater. And um, we don't have a clear um, showing of um, the water table. But if this right here were to be dry sand, this would be this would be to be a line. If this was a line, this would be wet sand, and this would be dry sand. And this, the line showing the wet, the difference between the wet sand and the dry sand, would be called the um, water table. In fifth grade science, we are studying earth science right now, and the children are studying groundwater. And we had a lab today to simulate groundwater so that they could better understand an aquifer because you can't see one when you're out in the open. So the idea is to, um, we began with vocabulary over the last couple of days so that when they took that vocabulary and applied it to a hands-on situation where they built a simulation of an aquifer, they were able to apply that vocabulary to their glass of sand and gravel and water. Um, at Powhatan, we believe that a hands-on approach for science is the only way to go because children are engaged, it's fun, you still teach a lot of content and children are learning, but in a, a child-centered, hands-on way so that they can apply that to the real world. A lot of children today with their cups said, that's a river, that's, that's a pond when we were talking about surface area, and that shows me that they're able to apply that vocabulary to the real world, but through a simulation of a cup. Okay, well, um, we usually learn a lot of vocabulary words in science, and we usually, for our tests, we have to um, learn these and study these, and um, we don't really memorize them. Either we know it or we don't, and so, um, <laughs> so, um, a couple of these words in this study would be, um, would be surface water, which is this water, water on top, like on... Um, it's what you see on rivers, lakes, and streams and stuff. That's all surface water. And then the, this kind of water, the water underground, is groundwater, which so holds all the underground water that could be, um, yeah. It's like when you dig um, a hole, a big hole in the beach, all the water that you reach down there is groundwater. It really helps because then we can, it shows us an example it might not be like an ocean and then a picture, a picture of an ocean and the sand under it, but it gives us pretty much a, a clear description instead of using it in words. It shows us how it's really used and it really helps. Yeah, and this also helps because it's like when it's just like drawn out, even if it's a highly detailed drawing of this, I mean, actually being able to make it actually helps you um, understand it better because you know all the materials that are in the aquifer and stuff and you can see it like what it actually is. You can feel it. You can feel see it like right there when it's not on a picture.